This is the reading from Acts for June 11th. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. It was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord, and with the consolation of the Holy Spirit it grew in numbers. As Peter was passing through every region, he went down to the holy ones living in Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas, who had been confined to bed for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. He got up at once, and all the inhabitants of Lydda and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa there was a disciple named Tabitha, which translated means Dorcas. She was completely occupied with good deeds and almsgiving. Now during those days she fell sick and died, so after washing her they laid her out in a room upstairs. Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him with the request, Please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them. When he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs where all the widows came to him weeping and showing him the tunics and cloaks that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out and knelt down and prayed. Then he turned to her body and said, Tabitha, rise up. She opened her eyes, saw Peter, and sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up, and when he had called the holy ones and the widows, he presented her alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many came to believe in the Lord, and he stayed a long time in Joppa with Simon, a tanner. Now in Caesarea there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion of the cohort called the Italica, a devout and God-fearing among all his whole household who used to give alms generously to the Jewish people and pray to God constantly. One afternoon, about three o'clock, he saw plainly in a vision an angel of God come into him and say to him, Cornelius. He looked intently at him and, seized with fear, said, What is it, sir? He said to him, Your prayers and almsgiving have ascended as a memorial offering before God. Now send some men to Joppa and summon one Simon, who is called Peter. He is staying with another Simon, a tanner, who has a house by the sea. When the angel who spoke to him had left, he called two of his servants and a devout soldier from his staff, explained everything to them, and sent them to Joppa. The next day, while they were on their way and nearing the city, Peter went up to the roof terrace to pray at about noontime. He was hungry and wished to eat. And while they were making preparations, he fell into a trance. He saw heaven opened and something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered to the ground by its four corners. In it were all the earth's four-legged animals and reptiles and the birds of the sky. A voice said to him, Get up, Peter, slaughter and eat. But Peter said, Certainly not, sir, for never have I eaten anything profane and unclean. The voice spoke to him again, a second time. What God has made clean, you are not to call profane. This happened three times, and then the object was taken up into the sky. While Peter was in doubt about the meaning of the vision he had seen, the men sent by Cornelius asked for Simon's house and arrived at the entrance. They called out, inquiring whether Simon, who is called Peter, was staying there. As Peter was pondering the vision, the spirit said to him, There are three men here looking for you, so get up, go downstairs, and accompany them without hesitation, because I have sent them. Then Peter went down to the men and said, I am the one you are looking for. What is the reason for your being here? They answered, Cornelius, a centurion, an upright and God-fearing man, respected by the whole Jewish nation, was directed by a holy angel to summon you to his house and to hear what you have to say. So he invited them in and showed them hospitality. The next day he got up and went with them, and some of the brothers from Joppa went with him. On the following day he entered Caesarea. Cornelius was expecting them and had called together his relatives and close friends. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him and, falling at his feet, paid him homage. 
Peter, however, raised him up, saying, Get up. I myself also am also a human being. While he conversed with them, he went in and found many people gathered together and said to them, You know that it is unlawful for a Jewish man to associate with or visit a Gentile. But God has shown me that I should not call any person profane or unclean. And that is why I came without objection when sent for. May I ask, then, why you summoned me? Cornelius replied, Four days ago at this hour, three o'clock in the afternoon, I was at prayer in my house, when suddenly a man in dazzling robes stood before me and said, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard and your almsgiving remembered before God. Send therefore to Joppa and summon Simon, who is called Peter. He is a guest in the house of Simon a tanner by the sea. So I sent for you immediately, and you were kind enough to come. Now, therefore, we are all here in the presence of God to listen to all that you have been commanded by the Lord. Then Peter proceeded to speak and said, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness, that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people, who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for a few days. 